and gentlemen, welcome to Token Post interview. Today we have invited Mr. Alexander Schneemann, the Vice President of Engineering at Exonum, one of Fifth Fury's product. So, could you give a brief, inter brief introduction about yourself? Uh, my name is Alex Schneemann. I'm VP of Engineering at Exonum, uh, at Bitfury. Bitfury Group is a company that established uh, about seven years ago. Uh, we are a full service blockchain company. Mm -hmm. We have hardware departments that develops ASICs for mining, and we have uh, another department that deals only with software, and one of our products is uh, Exonum. Mm -hmm. So then, what is Exonum? Exonum is open source framework for private blockchains. Mm -hmm. uh, it is, uh, you can download it from GitHub, you can play with it, you can deploy it, because it's open source. It's written in Rust programming language, it is uh, very secured because of Rust. It's very fast also because of Rust. Uh, and um, we are solving the problem that private blockchain has ha have. Actually, uh, public blockchain is very secured, but the performance of public blockchains uh, is very low. Mm -hmm. And uh, here we come with solution of private blockchain, but private blockchain chains in general, they are, the performance is very high, it's very good. The security is very bad as well. Uh, we at Bitfury, um, about two years ago, we did a research of, 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 of all private blockchains uh, on the market, and we decided that the private blockchain is the way to go, we decided to start our project from scratch and develop from scratch private blockchain. We choose Rust language because it is very secured and very fast language. Mm -hmm. And because of it, our uh, blockchain framework is uh, very fast. Mm -hmm. It's uh, very scalable. You can easily add new nodes to Exonum network. Mm -hmm. And we support, uh, our performance is very good. We support up to 3,000 transactions per second. So uh, you mentioned about private blockchains not being secure enough. Yeah. Could you explain on why that is? Uh, because uh, if you're not using good security, then actually your, uh, your private blockchain network, it's actually uh, open for branches and for frauds, mm -hmm. like you can see in the media, uh, all recent news about uh, frauds with uh, blockchains. Mm -hmm. So uh, you need to um, uh, make your blockchain secured. So the way that we choose, it's a Rust and our consensus BFT algorithm. Mm -hmm. So uh, one big concept of Exonum is achieving Java binding using Rust language. Could you uh, expand on that concept? Because I'm not quite sure yeah, if I understand sure. it correctly. Uh, so again, we choose Rust language. Mm -hmm. The community of uh, uh, Rust developers is pretty good and pretty big. But uh, we know that the community of Java developers is huge. Mm -hmm. And we would like to expose our framework to this community. Mm -hmm. So we choose the way to go. We uh, added uh, ability to write and to execute smart contract uh, with Java. So you can use uh, all services of Exonum. It is configuration service, is timing service, in, and you can, you can use it with Java language. So developers who were already using Java, they can use your uh, Exonum to develop blockchains, I execute smart contracts? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so uh, there is these Java developers don't need, don't need to learn Rust language. Mm -hmm. They can use Java uh, they doing on the day basis, mm -hmm. daily basis, and uh, then can be uh, users of our framework. And uh, it is important to say that because we are framework, we are not a library. Mm -hmm. Because we are framework, you can build your product around the framework mm -hmm. or on top of the framework. Mm -hmm. It's very important. And we have developed Exonum 
as an open source platform. So you, you, we would like to provide this platform to community and to expose this platform uh, to community uh, as wide as possible. Mm -hmm. And uh, that is our vision and our strategy. Yeah. So in the developer world, uh, when it comes to blockchain, it seems that there are a lot of efforts to bring in developers into the blockchain world. And I'm pretty sure Exonum is one of the projects trying to following that trend. Uh, and one of the projects that we had featured on our channel was Qtom's virtual machine, new virtual machine x86. They also try to achieve, uh, well, they also try to bring in new developers into the blockchain world. So what traits, what characteristics do Exonum have that developers can benefit from compared to other competitors? Uh, first of all, uh, it is open source project. Mm -hmm. So every developer that would like to use or learn how Exonum works can uh, uh, download it from GitHub, mm -hmm. can deploy it on his own uh, without any help from our side, for instance, because uh, uh, we have uh, pretty good technical documentation uh, with our source code and also on our website, exonum.com, mm -hmm. you can see documentation f uh, for developers. And uh, we, we know about use cases when uh, people just used Exonum on their own and achieved uh, very impressive results. So it seems that Exonum, its main focus is on providing solutions for enterprise-grade blockchain framework. So one competitor of this, I mean, there, there may be some competitor, but one similarity or competitor it may be is IBM's Hyperledger. So what would be the comparative advantage compared to uh, Hyperledger or maybe other private blockchain, mm -hmm. open source blockchain? Uh, it's a good question and very interesting question. Mm -hmm. uh, we... Uh, uh, our advantage uh, on uh, if we are compare Exonum with our competitors, first of all, it is very fast uh, and the performance is very high. It mm -hmm. is very scalable mm -hmm. uh, and also it is open source. Uh, we also uh, al always uh, inviting um, external contribu uh, contributors so you can contribute to our source code with uh, to our project without any problems and uh, it is very secured because of rust because not all projects of our competitors written in rust language mm -hmm. in go language in python etc so yeah when it comes to programming i am uh, ignorance. I really don't know anything about programming. So, mm -hmm. could you explain about the Rust language, the concept of Rust language? And I'm pretty sure our viewers is also waiting for your explanation. So okay. What yeah. is it? How is it different from contemporary uh, programming languages? Mm -hmm. uh, so, it is system programming language. Uh, it is similar to C++ language. Mm -hmm. Uh, and uh, the main feature of Rust that it is checking me memory leaks on the f uh, uh, on the fly. Mm -hmm. So during the compilation, you will get an error. If it's not compilation error, it's, pro it's an error with um, memory usage. When an error occurs, you yeah. can constantly yeah. check it yeah. on the spot. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. And uh, you are combining that or moving that advantage uh, to Java, is it? Through Exonum? Uh, not exactly, mm -hmm. because Java developers will develop in Java as they doing before they came to, to Exonum. Mm -hmm. uh, it's uh, not an issue. We are providing all, all functionality of our framework, mm -hmm. existing framework, to Java community. Mm -hmm. That actually is. So, so you're trying to expand the Java community to get the, into the blockchain? Exactly, system. yeah. We would like to expose our framework to Java community. Mm -hmm. And by the way, we would like to uh, expose it to and other programming communities like C++ developers, etc. And you are planning on future expansion onto C++ or maybe other programming languages as well? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You are here today at the Blockchain Open Forum and I saw your panelist discussion, it was very interesting. So what's your take on the Blockchain Open Forum so far? Uh, 
First of all, uh, thank you for inviting me to this uh, <laughs> blockchain open forum. It's our honor. Yeah. And uh, there are a lot of people from blockchain industry here. Mm -hmm. This is very interesting uh, discussion. There is a very interesting discussion so here. And uh, it is a very uh, good thing that you can see here that a lot of people come with a vision that blockchain should uh, solve problems of transparency, mm -hmm. of trust, of cutting a middleman, etc., etc., etc. It's very good because a, a lot of company uses blockchain just because of blockchain. Mm -hmm. They use it as a database. It's not so good. Mm -hmm. It's not a purpose of blockchain. Mm -hmm. So that's so yeah. your definition on the purpose of blockchain is uh, improving efficiency and excluding the middlemen and improving transparency yeah and and the trust and trust trust Be between 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 the parties that participate in in the business model mm -hmm. uh, it, it can be uh, enterprise organization it can be government and based on this belief you are leading the exon product right yeah mm -hmm. it, it, it's it's not only my vision it's actually vis vision of all exonum team mm -hmm. and all all bitfury group mm -hmm. So, could we expect the whole Bitfury group at our open forum next year? Uh, I hope so, <laughs> yeah. I mean, we hope to see more of you, hope to see expand you to Korea as well. Mm -hmm. uh, thank you so much for your time. I mean, you're a busy man, but uh, it was an honor having you featuring you at our interview. Thank you very much. It was my <laughs> pleasure. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for tuning in. That was Mr. Alexander Shinneman, the Vice President of Engineering at Exonum. Thank you.